Last month, a photo was circulating showing Health and Human Services Secretary Robert F. Kennedy Jr. dropping a blue liquid into a beverage during a flight. Turns out it was something called methylene blue. Joining us to help better understand what the substance is and does is Chris Jackman, Advanced Practice Registered Nurse at Carolina Holistic Medicine. Good to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, when I was looking it up, first of all, very ominous name. It almost sounds contraband, methylene right, blue. Right, right. From what I understand is it was used to dye fabrics once upon a time. Yeah. What is it used for today? Yeah, it was discovered in the 1870s, I believe, um, and it was used as a fabric dye. But back then, the idea was that they were using dyes to kill bacteria. They thought dyes would get into the bacteria and destroy the cellular structure, and that's, how they, that's what they use for antibiotics. So it was originally used to treat malaria in the 1890s. Uh, and today is used for many, many, many different things. Well, so let me ask you, did it, did it help treat malaria? It did, yes. It did. It's been okay. used for treat malaria. It was used to treat urinary tract infections. It was used to treat different bacterial and viral infections. I, what is it derived from? Oh, it's a, it's a chemical. It comes from a salt, a, a special type of salt. Okay. So naturally occurring or is synthesized? No, it's no. A, and that's a big thing that we have to tell patients is they they hear about this it's over the counter and but it's not natural by any stretch it's oh. a it's a synthetic medication um, so it's not something that is if you're looking for a natural alternative this is not it okay but is it's it, old so it, that's why we like it what is it used for today typically yeah so today we started using it about three or four years ago because it was found to be able to prevent covid treat covid both acute and long covid we were using it a lot in our Lyme patients as well. Uh, so using it for different viral and bacterial infections and then kind of learning more and more about how it can affect the brain for energy and um, depression and anxiety and help rebuild the mitochondria to give people energy and help with oxygen transportation. So it's like the, the uses have just grown. Can anybody take it? Should anybody, just anybody take it? So no, uh, you should really see somebody who understands methylene blue before you take it. Main reason is it, it can increase serotonin production in the brain. So if you're on an antidepressant and take methylene blue, you can have a very serious serotonin um, syndrome. What would happen? happen. It, it can cause death. Oh, yes. wow. So it, it's a medical emergency if you have a ser serotonin syndrome. So uh, it's not for everybody. Uh, there's also been studies where it's been used uh, for people with Parkinson's at high doses and actually makes their balance worse because of the, the vision to brain connection. So uh, you have to know what you're doing. You have to make sure you're dosing it correctly and you have to make sure that it's safe for you to be able to take it. Where do people find it? Is it easy to get? Yeah, it's and over is there the danger to that. It's over the counter. You do want to oh. make sure you're getting pharmaceutical grade, obviously. Okay. So it's good to know, uh, have a provider or a practitioner recommend a, a good brand to get. And uh, we use the 1% pharmaceutical brand. Um, it's about a half a milligram per drop. So we weight base it and find out kind of what your you know, perfect dose and then gradually increase the dosage so we make sure you tolerate it. And do some blood work to make sure it's safe for you as well. Now, I don't know if you know why Bobby Kennedy was taking it, but he was taking it on a flight, and you had mentioned it oxygenates mm -hmm. the blood. So would that mean that he was trying to add oxygen to his blood while he was in flight, knowing but that it can get depleted? Potentially, yeah. I don't know exactly why he was taking it, but it can help with um, supplying oxygen to the body, help with energy. Maybe he was on the, at the end of a long day, and he yeah. just needed a little pick-me-up to get through the flight and to go back to work. But yeah, it helps with energy, um, ATP production, which is cellular energy. So it's got, you know, like I said, lots of options for why you can use it. And uh, I'm not sure why he was doing it. Yeah, on the flights now dropping blue stuff yeah, into their everyone's drinks. Everyone's got blue tongues now. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So how now, if someone is taking it and they really shouldn't be taking it, how quickly would you start to see those adverse reactions? And is there any way to reverse it in the moment? If yeah, depending on what the adverse uh, reaction is, but typically once you stop it within a day or two, you should you should be feeling better, and you should definitely contact someone. Uh, blue urine, blue tongue, that kind of stuff can happen because it is a blue dye, so um, it can stain your countertops. It makes your cup blue, so oh, wow. be careful with it. But yeah, the uh, 
if you feel anything adverse or you're not sure if, if you're taking a safe dose, please contact someone who understands it and can kind of point you in the right direction. Okay, and contraindications of methylene blue? Yeah, mostly the big one is if you're on an antidepressant, you can't take it. That's okay. That's the big you. one. Um, other contraindications based on lab work and something called a G6PD are important to do, but the main one is if you're on an antidepressant, be very, very careful with it. Yeah, yeah, it looks like something you gotta handle with care. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chris. Really interesting, methylene blue. Not for everybody, everyone. All right, we'll be back in two minutes.